What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art video, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you put y'all some heat. In today's video, I'm finna work on a custom piece for a customer. He want me to turn him into like an alien. So we about to get into that right now. So let's jump right into the video. Alright, first thing I'm finna do, I'm finna drag. His picture inside of Adobe Illustrator from my desktop. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna center it. Cause I'm gonna finish like drawing out his hands. I'm gonna have his hands like showing like this. It's gonna be like this, and he's gonna be holding like this little electrical thingamajigger. Okay, let's drop the opacity down on this picture. Just good enough. I bet that's cool. Lock that layer, create us a new layer. Now we finna come up here. Let me set my pressure point. Oh my god, dang digital art tablet. Change these two numbers to three. And that's how I get this little brush. Y'all see me use. But you gotta have a digital art tablet that had a pressure option. Okay. Now I'm finna drop the opacity on this brush. Like 38. Okay. Now first thing I'm gonna do. Sketch out some hands. I always work on a sketch first, you know what I'm saying? Don't just jump right into the picture. I always get you a nice little layout. Cool, cool is good. All right. Then you just gotta think. All you gotta do is draw one side and then you can just mirror it on the other side. So that's what we gonna do. We just gonna draw the hand on one side do like a little mirror image the white I got that okay I got this uh pinky looking like it's broke so wait we gotta bring it up just a tad just like this boom there we go That's all I need, you know what I'm saying? I'm so professional, I don't even need much of a sketch. I just need a little, a start of a sketch. Okay, now what we about to do, I created a new layer, and we about to do the goddamn, the line work. This is the line work layer. It's like the finalizing everything, so. Speaking of, let me make that brush bigger. We're gonna make it a, or leave it at the one point. Okay. Uh, I still need to look at my hand just for the detail. Okay, it's like a little wrinkle right here. And it curves right there. Then it curves.
Make sure I got all that little extra stuff closed off. We about to make this jump. Gonna go to my pencil tool. Move this color black to the bottom. Then I'ma lock this top layer right here. And we finna do some shading. So I'm finna draw out my shadows. Okay. Now we got our hand exactly how we want it. Let me go ahead and make a copy of it. Hold out after you select it. Drag that thing over. Right click on your mouse. Go to uh, transform. Then you want to go to reflect. You want to hit OK. Yeah. Okay. Got that man looking like he. Uh oh. It'd be crazy. It's not about to be crazy, baby. I'm gonna spread it out just a little bit. About right there.
we got us a nice sketch out, man. So what I'm finna do, I'm finna highlight everything. Go to object, expand appearance. Then I'm gonna click merge on my pathfinder to make all my lines become one line. Now we're gonna make a copy of our line work. Lock the top copy. And we finna start out with a base tone. Base color. Or should I make it skin tone? Yeah, we're gonna use my skin tone package. You feel me? I'm gonna use my custom skin tone colors, man. The link will be in the description below if you want these colors. If you want to purchase these skin tones, all right. Go ahead. Start placing these tones on my character. Okay. After I drag the color over the entire picture, let me do that over so y'all can know how to do it. All right. You want to go to your rectangle tool, drag the color over the entire picture. Make sure the color is at the top you want to use over there. Then you want to right click the color, go to arrange, and then you want to hit send to back. What that's going to do is, it's going to put your color right behind your line work. And you'll know if you did that step, right? If you look over here at your layers, you see your color sitting on top of the line work. Now, what you wanna do, you wanna highlight everything, and then you wanna click Merge on your Pathfinder so the color can become one with your line work. Now, after you do that, you wanna right click the color, and go to Isolate Selected Group. So every group that's isolated, you can delete it or you can switch the color around. See, like this is an isolated group, so I can change that color. Everything that's cut off is isolated from everything else, so you can change it individually. So that's why it's good to make sure you're closing your lines off. So I'm, I'm holding shift right now so I can select more than one area. Change it, nail color. I forgot to close this off because it's open. That's why I selected more than one area. So you gotta make sure you're closing your lines off. I'll delete that. Okay, this outer helmet will be Little color. Let's make this eye color. Um, go make this eye color green. We also gonna make this, this inner drip. I'll make that green. Now, we're going to make a copy of our color layer. We're going to lock the bottom copy, turn the eye off on the bottom copy. Select the copy that's in the middle. And go to our white selection tool and we're gonna delete the skin tone only the skin color out of this layer after you finish deleting the skin tone out of that layer 
Like what we finna do, let's go ahead and draw this little nail color back with our pencil tool. Now, let's lock that layer, bring our bottom color layer back, create us a new layer in between those two. And this is gonna be the layer we add all our shading on. So, let me um, start with these. What tone are we gonna start with? We'll start with a dark tone. Work our way back up. And I put all my different tones. Make sure you create new layers for every time you go lighter or darker with your tones. Make sure you put it all on its own layer. And there you have it, you guys. You know what I'm saying? Some custom art for one of my customers. Make sure you hit that like button. And make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon. And I'm out there. Thanks.